Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my end of month flip. Technically, um, this is filming my end of month flip so I can show you all how I've used my planners. But since I've made some changes, I really want to focus on how I use these in general. So these are my professional planners and I've seen a lot of like requests on like um, talking more about professional planners. And so I kind of wanted to just use this video to go over all of that. So this is my professional setup. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I um, am a grad student and I will have an uh, academics uh, video coming up as well. But for professional work, I have a um, job, a 40 hour a week plus job. Um, and then I've also recently started consulting on the side this summer. And then of course I'm also a content creator. So um, this video is gonna really focus on what I use for my daily job, like my, my actual job, and then like my freelance slash consulting gig. And so I think it's very telling with the agendas too, um, what I might use for what. So I personally don't like using my monogram when I go to work. I like having a little bit more of a um, professional feel slash look slash you know um, more muted and so since I work from home for my normal job I use this agenda cover um, for any planner that I use so I've used the A5 Daily Duo from Erin Condren before I've used this Hermes hourly planner which I'm currently using right now and I'll go over how I use it I can't share anything because I have a lot of confidential information in here unfortunately now um, but I can share how I use it. But yeah, as of right now, this is what I'm currently using for my normal job. And then for consulting, I haven't made any changes since my most recent update. So I'll have that video linked below if you want an in-depth view of each of these tabs. But I have two Epi leather agendas from Louis Vuitton. These are vintage ones with gold hardware. If you order these from Aaron Condren, Aaron Condren, Louis Vuitton now, they will have silver hardware. Um, I'm not a silver person, so I got the vintage ones because I really like them and love that they're in gold. I also have um, really decided to kind of move out of this right now for daily work. And so this large agenda is the main one for consulting and it has a monthly overview from Infinite Lotus. I'll have all the inserts linked below that I use as well as these weekly inserts that I use for organization and planning out what I need to do and when as well as keeping track of meetings, tasks, and deadlines. And so I wasn't gravitating too much to this planner just because I have so many different planners y'all will see in my planner stack video and so this month I actually decided to move the current and upcoming month into my main agenda this stays on my desk at home and so that has really helped me actually use the inserts more whenever I need to go to a meeting or if I need to travel for consulting I will move those inserts into here and take this with me and that way I have everything with. If I need a future plan or anything, I still use this agenda, but for everyday planning, I have what I need inside of my main agenda to make it easier on me. So this is primarily used for storage as well as future planning, and I like that. I also like the fact that it's like a dedicated space for it, and I have something too if I want to take it with. So I did switch out my agendas when I also went to school, just because it was a more muted look, right? I didn't want to bring the monogram to into class just personally. And so um, I just like having this agenda for that. But I also really just enjoy having a dedicated space towards um, storage, especially for something like this. And once I start taking on clients, it'll be nice to be able to backdate and have a spot that's just dedicated to all the plans and I can go back and review what's going on and when. So this is something that I like having and don't see myself changing, especially now that I've moved what I typically use in uh, my main agenda. It just makes it easier for planning. But this is ultimately, I don't want to call it a nice to have because I think for my planning system and stack, it's important. It's essential for me to have this. Um, I'm just trying to find the right words to describe it. 
Uh, ultimately, this is the system that works for me. So I like having this, having somewhere to store, having somewhere to come in future plan, having something that I'm able to just take with me. Um, and I love the look. Also, if I do go, um, for example, I do like to go to Starbucks. It's, um, of course, what I do with consulting is primarily at home as well. Um, but if I do go to like Starbucks to work on consulting stuff, I switch out the inserts. I put my daily or my weekly inserts back in here and just take this with me. So again, this is more of like a travel slash storage system, but it really works for me and I really like it. So that is the main planner. And then I have this medium ring agenda. And so it has just any like notes, right? So this is more of a tactical planner. It goes more in depth. And so I have just a little overview because I like having overviews in each planner. But I have um, daily answers if I need them to go into detail. I also have meeting notes in here. I have project trackers in here. I don't want to share, again, confidential information. Um, I have an hourly in here for when I start billing so I can keep track of that. And then, um, oops, that's the meeting notes. Uh, all of these are uh, from Infinite Lotus. And then I also just have a note section too. Again, this is my notebook, so I'm able to come in and be able to write anything down. And this is nice to also take on the go and to quickly write and jot things down. So more tactical planning compared to overall big picture items and then just everyday work. So this is what I currently use. Again, I really like the system for me. It works well. So for my professional consulting, let's call it gig, um, I have something that I can take with and then for, you know, work from home, I have it in the monogram. And then um, I don't, even when I go into the office, I don't take this with. This is really just for me to like manage everything at home. So that's why I like having it in the desk agenda. Um, if I ever do need to take it with, um, I, I, I honestly just don't see that happening because this is essentially also just my notes, which is why I can't share what I do. Um, but I should share, like I mentioned, how I use this. So if you, I haven't shared this in a bit. So this is the Hermes Agenda Refill. And I don't know if I'm gonna buy it again next year, but since I have it, I, I don't know, I kind of do like it. I need to figure out what I want to do for work if I don't replace this. Um, but I work essentially eight to sometimes four, sometimes five. And so I'll come in here and I will just mark out what here and I can do, let's just do it for the next week. So I'll come in here and well, I'm off that Friday. So let's just do Thursday. So I come in here and I just mark when I'm off, right? So I'm at least off by five every single day. And even if I get up earlier, it's fine. And so I'll put in all of my meetings, lunch, anything like that, all the dates or all the times in this section. And then similar to how I've used hourly, this bottom section, since I don't work at night, unless like we have to do like a product release or something, um, it might happen like once a month, I will put a time and highlight it. But overall, this is my to-do list. So I'll just come in and everything that I need to do for the day, I will list out here, anything high priority or that I need a note, for example, PTO, <laughs> um, I'll put here. And then, so I need to turn on my out of office this day. So that's part of the list for this day. So that's how I like to use it. This is an additional list too, where I can break things down if I want on the side, since I don't work on the weekends. Um, I really just use it however I see fit, but this has been working and I really like it. And I like that it's all in one and it's very compact. And now that I'm talking about it out loud, I might be rebuying this next year because I have actually really enjoyed it. So, and it's light and compact, which is also nice. I also feel like with the Hermes cover, this is actually a notebook cover that I took off and put on here. I didn't like the um, cover of the agenda refills this year, but like a cover like this, I think it's, yes, that has the brand on it, but I think it's a little more subtle, right? And it's not as loud. So you can technically kind of hide it up or hide it, but. Yeah, I also like the film here because I can use my sticky notes and put sticky notes on here and just have that available and um, stick, you kind of use this as an inbox. So yeah, that is how I use 
that is my professional agendas, how I use them, a little, little context, and that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know, and thank you guys so much for watching.